Well, I mean, the first point of hope is that so long as you are drawing breath, it means that um, God has a purpose for you. You are still here. Um, there are many who are not here at this point. Between now and the 31st of December, there will be many more who will check out. Um, I believe that it's not going to be you. And if it does happen to be you, I hope you're ready for it. Um, I hope you are in a place where you will not be afraid because each of us comes in with a set time. Um, we have an introductory date and we have an expiry date. When you get to the expiry date, it is what it is. You know, I, I listen to a lot of people who say that, I mean, when you, when you leave this world, that's all there is to it. It's done and dusted and you're gone. That may be true. But I also think of the fact that um, it's even a law in Ghana that when you buy a vehicle, you buy insurance. Now, you may pay for the insurance for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, and never make a claim. But the insurance comes in handy that one time when you have a situation where you need it. My thinking is very simple. I'm not going to go into all the other um, theological high points of it. But my thinking is very simple, that if I believe that I'm covered, because I believe in salvation and I believe in Jesus Christ, if my path comes to an end and there's nothing after this life, I would have lived a good life, a, good life, a fulfilling life, a wholesome That's life. So I would have made an impact. I would have um, being a positive influence to people. End of story. Now, if at the end of it, there actually is something after. Honestly, I would want to be the one that has Jesus Christ on my side than to be the one who pops off and finds out that, hmm, it's that simple, really, from my perspective. So, in terms of hope and encouragement, I would say that understand that the spiritual side of things is actually more real than the physical side of things in many cases and i say this because what you say with your mouth will come to pass in your life what you believe will happen to you will happen to you so believe that god has god has plans for you and try to find out what those plans are and walk in them a simple prayer that you can pray is that lord let your will be done in my life. Lead my steps in the ways that I should go. And at the end of the day, his plans for you are better than the plans you have for yourself. So you will find yourself doing the things that will bring you to greatness within um, the sphere that he wants you to have. Outside of that, you can have your own plans. You can you know, say you want to do this and you want to do that and hustle to get them done. That's also a way to go. My belief, though, is that why not work with God on your side? <laughs> that to work in a certain way where if you're not careful, God is working against you. So for me, what this year should teach all of us is to understand that there is a higher power. There is a greater power. And he's looking for the best for us. So let's allow him to lead us in the way that he wants. And I think it will be well with us. I mean, I think I would say, um, and I agree with you, that um, it's important to find out what God's purpose for your life is. And like you say, you might have your own plans, you might have your own dreams, but, you know, we always say, you know, to, to, to look for what He wants, and then everything else that you're looking for gets added to that. Um, and we all have these gifts, amazing gifts that God has given us, and... You know, for a lot of people, I don't think that they're really exploring the gifts that God has given them. And even when they are, it's more to do with how can I be What's okay? What's the purpose of it, yeah. Uh, whereas I think success is really about service. And if you're able to serve other people, 
and you're able to plug into other people's needs, then truly you're, you're, you're successful. So, I mean, most of my writing at the latter part of this year has been just encouraging and teasing people to start thinking about what their purpose is um, and also to, to chill. Because I think sometimes, you know, you're you know, just chill Absolutely. Yeah. And, and know that once you, you, you know, you're relying on him for guidance, he will help you to make decisions that are good for you because he knows how the story is going to end. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I just pray for a, a good 2021 and for people who've lost family and friends, I pray that next year is going to be a, a good year. Yeah, of healing. Year. That, the, that God will give them beauty for their ashes. Um, yeah, that's what I'm kind of hoping for yeah. 2021. And just to add a little bit on top of that is, is, you know, take time out. Explore your country. Explore nature. I mean, travel, visit, go places you haven't been before. Do things you haven't done before. You know, stop sitting in one place and saying that, ah, but I don't know anybody there. Or, I've never been there before. I don't know how to eat this food. I'd never understood that thing, how people can say that they don't know how to eat a particular food. Because they don't know. You take it, put it in your mouth and swallow. <laughs> it's that simple. But yeah, I mean, do stuff. Be Get adventurous. Out Get out of your comfort zone and do, do exciting things. I mean, enjoy life. It is short, as this pandemic has taught us. Hi, Marissa. 2021, what do you have to say to your, to other teens? Be happy and be you. Oh, I like that. Because I think for my generation, social media is a big part of it all. And I think people look at what kind of lives other people are living. Or appear to be living. And use it as like a basis for their life. So somebody will see something on social media and be like, she's living this life, she has this phone, she drives this car, and you start to be hard on yourself because it's like, she's my age, how, we, how, we, how haven't I gotten there yet? And I think this year I have felt like that, like maybe twice, because I, I saw um, a, a picture of Marcel Martin, okay. and I said, so this girl's my age. <laughs> and she's directing big movies. I have to say, yeah. So I think sometimes when you learn to appreciate yourself and you learn to be happy with who you are and where you've reached in life, I think you will learn to be happy. Mm. Because you can't use somebody else's life as a basis to live your own. I mean, we were all we all came at different times. We all have different, I don't know how to put it, but we will all be successful at different stages of our lives. And we cannot try to run a race which has not even started. So I would tell my teens out there that be happy, live your life, and be yourself. Don't try to be somebody you're not it's only when you know that what you are doing does not make you feel happy or it doesn't make you feel good. So that's what I'm going to tell my other teens. I think that's good advice. I think it's brilliant advice. And, and, and I think especially, you know, for the social media generation that, yes, live your life. Be happy. Don't run somebody else's race. Yes. You don't know where they are coming from. You don't know even, even if what they are doing is real. And don't get depressed when you see, be, be, look at yourself, look at your space, look at your circumstances and be who you are within it and be happy. And I think that it will save. I like that. Save a whole and lot. be you. Be you, man, be you.